In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your Waze plugins to work with your MPC software. Check it out. What's up everybody, my name is Matthew Stratton helping you create music and on this channel, I do setup videos, reviews, tutorials, just like this one. If you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, so I wanna set up my Waze plugins in my MPC software. Waves always got sales going on, it seems like, where you can get plugins for 29 bucks, even less than that. So I bought a few of them, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get them to work in your NPC software. So check this out real fast. All right, so let me show you this. So you need to have Wave Central on your computer, right? And you just, basically you get this, and you install all your software from this application. And once you do that, Waze put all their software into a folder, right? So you just click this, you sign in, and down here you you know push, push install and activate or whatever. So that's how you get your plugins in there, right? So after you do that, you'll notice, I'll show you right now. If you go over into your settings, so if you go to edit and you go to your preferences, and then you go to your plugins right here, I'm going to go ahead and click here and scan these, right? So go ahead and push rescan. And you'll notice fail, fail, fail across the board. All right, and this is where the, you know, right here, this is where they get installed. Program files, x86 waves, right? So you can see all of them are failing. Every single one, these will actually just stall out. You know what I'm saying? The actual shells right here. All right, you can see right here, the actual VST shells crash crash and these are the 64 bits so you know that they're right these are the right ones because npc software uses the 64 bit so i want to get these to work right so i'm going to get out of here for a second show you some so basically if you type in you can see right here i already have it up shell to vst um you know i downloaded it off of here there's several different downloads that you can find. If you open this up, right, you can see all this in here. So what you can do, and this is what I wanna do. I'm gonna create a new folder. Now you could create this folder somewhere where you're gonna remember, you know, maybe in your plugins folder, but I'm gonna title it Waves. I'm just gonna drag these over, all right? Pull these over, boom. All right, so I got that going on for me. So if you look here, you got this shells right here. So you want to do at this point is find your Waze plugins. All right, so if you go in here, I right, see so you go in here and then you go to your plugins right there. And then you'll see this weird icon. Waze has got to do all this stuff different because that's just the way they are. And unfortunately, not all, you know, software manufacturers get their stuff to work with this, uh, at least right away. I know um, some people like the, the F, uh, FL Studio producers or the people that make those, they got it to work. Uh, but NPC hasn't gotten there yet. So this is the workaround we got to do. So if you can see where I clicked in, program files, Waze, Wave Shell, Okay, so now once you find this, you can see right here, uh, Waves Shell 1 VST, okay, and 64, you gotta make sure it says 64, and then the Waves Shell 2 right here, 64. So what I'm gonna do, is for the time being, I'm just gonna copy these over. Right, and I wanna paste them into here. So now what you gotta do at this point is you take this wave shell and you put it right into that EXE right there, boom. Now you can see it made a new folder. Now these are all the plugins that were in that shell. And you do the same with your other one, if you got another one right there. And that looks like that was the Abbey Road Suite. And you can see that shows up right there, all right? So now you know where your folder is, okay? So you go back to your software, go back to edit, go back to your preferences, right into here where it says plugins, you wanna find that folder. 
All right, so I'm gonna select this folder. So this is where it was. So I'm gonna open that, right? I'm gonna click here, scan all, or rescan all. Now you can see, okay, okay, okay. Everything's starting to show up. We're in business. We are in business. All right. So I wanna let that scan. So now I got this project loaded up. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go maybe to this audio file. I just wanna show you that, you know, that this works. So this one right here. Now if you go to your VSTs, you go to your waves, boom, here they are. I say I wanted to put this Abbey Rhodes plate reverb on there. So I put it there and there it is. So let me show you, okay, this is what it sounds like. Let me turn that off. If you listen. You know, a little project I'm working on. So I got that beat in there. So let me turn on the Abbey Road Studios reverb right here. Oh. You know what I'm saying? It shows up just fine. And I can load the different uh, presets right here. You can see load, I pick whatever preset. So if I just wanna do something like that. All right, so you get the point, right? They're working. So if I wanted to load something else on here, maybe one of these analog simulators, something like, uh, like this comp compressor, or maybe this channel. Bring that up, maybe load up one of these presets they got, just to show you. Uh, Let's just click it on. Let's see. So you got it. It works out just fine. You know what I mean? You just got to remember where you put your folder, uh, you know, put it somewhere, you know, you might not want to put it on your desktop, put it in your VST folder where you have your VSTs at and you you should be good to go. All right. So there you have it. That's how you get your waves VSTs to work inside your MPC software. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up below. If you want more videos about the MPC and the MPC software, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you think anybody can benefit from this content, go ahead and share it and uh, get people creating some music here. My name is Matthew, continue to create, and I'll see you in the next video.